looking in the nose. Oh God, that's probably really gross. Was that gross to like look at my nose like that? I just did that instinctively. Skin turgor is so important. That's right, skin turgor is the ability of your skin to change shape and then sort of return back to normal to sort of have that elasticity. Guys, this can be a great way to tell about hydration status. We do this often in the hospital, in the offices, things like that. So let me show you how to do it. You grab a little bit of skin in between your fingers like that, okay? Like on your wrist, you can do it on other parts of your body as well. You tint the skin up like this, you literally pull up, uh, get a good grasp, hold it for a few seconds, and then when you release the skin, bing, it really should snap back to uh, form the shape of whatever body part it is, right? It should snap back to normal. Now, in that situation, like it did, it snapped back to normal. That's a maybe a good indicator that somebody's well hydrated. But if you hold the skin up like this, and then you let it go, and the skin stays tinted, meaning it stays upright, it can mean that someone's dehydrated. Ah, oh, yes, this is an important test. I've got another test to show you, so you wanna don't go anywhere, stay here. But this is sort of a quick and dirty way to see about hydration status. Now, of course, it's operator dependent. There are variables and caveats, but that's sort of a quick and dirty way to see. Now, uh, why do we get dehydrated in the first place? Well, you guys could probably say these things along with me. When you're sick, you know, when you vomit too much or you have too much diarrhea, you can get dehydrated. Or if you're out there sweating and sweating and sweating and you don't replenish, or if just in general, you're not drinking enough fluids, or if you're taking certain medications that promote dehydration or you have certain underlying conditions. I mean, look, there are plenty of reasons why you might be dehydrated, okay? We're not gonna focus so much on that, but I wanted to mention that. So let's talk more about some of the signs and symptoms of dehydration, okay? And then I'm gonna teach you the other test that I wanted to tell you about, because it's really cool too. Um, so what do we feel when we're dehydrated? Well, we might get uh, thirsty. It's our body's, our body's way of saying, hey, let's drink over here. Um, also, our mouth might get dry, right? We may sweat less and also urinate less. Why? Because we we don't have enough fluids as it is, our body wants to hold on to what it has. Uh, we might have darker urine, we might feel tired or dizzy, um, we actually might get dry skin as well. Now remember, dehydration can be super serious, like it can range from like the mild symptom stuff to super severe, like to um, having really, really low blood pressure, having heart rate issues, palpitations, going into shock. I mean, there's a ton of potential consequences if dehydration gets really bad. So understand that this is something that we always wanna be thoughtful about. Now, let me throw in here, because I'm a doctor, I'm not sure doctor. If you have any concerns about dehydration or anything else, you gotta talk to your doctor about this. And remember, by the way, that there are some people, a lot of people out there, that are on fluid restriction, which means that not everyone, not all of you should be drinking the same amounts of fluids, right? Depending on your underlying conditions, you got heart problems, kidney problems, lung problems, you might have fluid restrictions. So I'm throwing that out there that I do not substitute your regular doctor. Just gonna say that. Other ways that we uh, medical people can tell if somebody's dehydrated is we look in mucous membranes. That is looking in the mouth, looking in the nose. Oh God, that's probably really gross. Was that gross to like look at my nose like that? I just did that instinctively. Ah, uh, that's my mouth, that's probably better. Okay, anyway, when you look in someone's mouth or nose or you look in your own, does it look moist? Well, it should. Our mucous membranes produce mucus. They should be sort of moist and wet, and if they're dry, it could be a sign of dehydration. Also, sometimes people appear um, to have sunken eyes. When we're dehydrated, our eyes can appear sunken, okay? That's something to keep in mind. Uh, we talked about the skin turgor test, okay? Bing, okay, and that's what it should do. It should snap right back. You can have low blood pressure, increased heart rate, or a weak pulse, and the symptoms can actually become more severe uh, than that. All right, let me teach you about the next test. All right, the last test that I wanna teach you about, which is called capillary refill. Now, you guys might've heard about this. I got my hands here, it's pretty simple. You're literally just going to push down on one of your nails for a few seconds until it starts to blanch. That means this finger here starts to turn white. You can see the nail is turning white. Uh, and then after a few seconds, once you release it, you wanna see how many seconds it takes for that nail to get its color back. Uh, generally, a normal amount of time would be less than three seconds or so, but um, older folks might have a little bit of a longer time and that still could potentially be normal. The idea is that if it takes a long time, three seconds or more, to get pink again, there may be issues with hydration. Oh, and I should also say that this video is just focused on the adults. Sometimes kids are a totally different story, so we're talking about adults in this video. 
Once again, you want to run all this stuff by your doctor. I hope this is helpful and gave you a little bit of an insight into dehydration. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos on all sorts of stuff, so please like and follow my page. For those of you who want exclusive content, consider joining my Dr. Jen Superstar subscription group. Um, for those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Thank you so much. Uh, and for those of you on YouTube, hello. Please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. Guys, I'll see you soon.